Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a um, grocery haul. A lot of you guys always ask me for grocery hauls and I never do them because I feel like I get the same things all the time. But I decided to go ahead and film it today so you don't think I'm lying. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoy it. I actually went to four different stores today. I know I do the most on Mondays. Monday is my shopping day. I get all the stuff that I need to do out the way. So um, when I go to the bougie neighborhood, I stop by like a couple different stores because I just like to have the variety of options. Um, and different stores have different things that I like, so um, I go and price check stuff. <laughs> but yeah, so I have a couple different stores that I shop from. It's not gonna be like a whole Trader Joe's haul or anything. It's gonna be Trader Joe's and Whole Foods and Mariano. I actually went to Kreiser's Natural Pet Store. I go to the pet store to see how much stuff is and then I check on Amazon while I'm there to make sure that I'm not overspending. Nine times out of 10, I'm overspending if I go to the store. So they have these. She's gonna freak when she sees it. They have these. This is a whimsy treat, and it's basically a huge dog treat, and she can chew on this for like two days. It keeps her quiet for literally forever. At the store, you can get a big tub of them for $40, and it's like a big tub of like 15, 20, depending on how small or big they are. Um, you can get like a lot of them in a variety box for 40 bucks. But if you order it on Amazon, 25 to $30, usually under 25. So I got one to hold her over until it actually comes in the mail on Wednesday because I have prime <laughs> I primed in the store and I had no regrets but yeah if you guys have seen me post about those on snapchat I talked about those treats because they keep her quiet for literally forever she doesn't bother me she doesn't talk to me she doesn't feel like she has to like run up on me and try to make me play with her like she just goes at it at that treat and I worried about her for like an hour or two so that's gonna keep her quiet for a long time um I also got her some little treats for her teeth um the the whimsies are good for teeth cleaning as well but i hate brushing her teeth so i buy treats that clean her teeth um and so i got these two hopefully if she likes them then i'll just order them on amazon because i'm not i'm not buying these in the store okay so i went to whole foods got some produce i got some fresh salmon some salmon portions for dinner if you follow me on twitter you know cameron loves salmon like did a shared note and i told him to put in for every day what he wanted to eat for every single day except for Tuesday, which is Taco Tuesday, he put salmon and Caesar salad. And I'm like, babe, I'm not eating salmon and Caesar salad every day, but I appreciate your simplicity. Makes it easier on me. When I was in Texas, um, my mom like had a whole bunch of grapefruits and she would like cut them up and we were just snacking on them like crazy. And I'm like, mom, I don't know why these grapefruits are so good, but they're literally the bomb. Like they were so sweet. Usually grapefruits are really like bitter and sour, but um, these were like really, really sweet. And she's like, girl, that's some Texas grapefruits. And I was like, I feel like we don't have that up north. She's like, go to Whole Foods, cause Whole Foods gets them directly from Texas. So got me some grapefruit. I got Aroma Tomato and some other stuff for my guacamole. I forgot to get lime. Dang it, that's what I forgot. I forgot to get lime and cilantro. Crap. But I got some tomatillo, serrano pepper, jalapeno pepper, the avocado. I'm gonna do a guac recipe. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna make a video, hopefully soon, teaching you guys how I make my famous guac. It's just so delicious. These are like packets that you mix with your juice or whatever, and you can drink it, and you can get your daily dosage of vegetables for the day. Um, I got this because my brother usually does like powder stuff like this to get his greens because he doesn't like to eat vegetables. I don't like to eat vegetables either. So I try to get mine through the suja juices. However, suja juice has a lot of sugar in it. Um, so even though you are getting your daily dosage of vegetables, you're also getting like two days worth of sugar. Uh, <laughs> not two days, but you are getting a lot of sugar from the fruit that's in it. Um, and they say not to eat a lot of fruit anyways, just because it is full of sugar. So um, I got these to try out with like, I don't know, maybe some I don't know, something with no sugar in it. <laughs> Which is why I didn't buy a full tub of it because I wanted to try the different flavors and see what I like. Um, so yeah, got my sweet potatoes. Just the basic sweet potatoes, nothing fancy. Yeah, I got some blueberries because blueberries are my life. If you guys don't know, I love blueberries. Antioxidants, make your skin pretty. So then after that, I went to Mariano's, which is basically a kind of like 
a step above a regular grocery store, but like a step below Whole Foods. So it's like a good middle ground for the bougie people who are like middle class and don't have I shop at Whole Foods every week money. You know what I mean? But Mariano's has really good like fresh. They have a good fresh salad bar. Their soups are so bomb. They have a great like sushi bar and they have like a smoothie bar. Like health, they make healthy green smoothies and things like that. So I love Mariano's. Um, I don't know if they have them all over. I'm pretty sure they only have them like in the Midwest, but maybe that's just what I know. I don't, I've never seen them anywhere else. Um, so I really do appreciate their healthy options because they have a lot of healthy options at Mariano's. First, of course, the first thing I open is the sugar. I'm supposed to be cutting back on sugar. So I'm gonna make a video a little later on in the year about my health and things I'm doing to better my health and be at optimal health because I'm not at optimal health regardless of how skinny I am and how like healthy I may seem to you guys. Even though I do try to eat pretty healthy, I'm not at my optimal health. So I'm working on that right now. I'm already working with someone to get that taken care of. I'll talk about that later on, but for now I'm just trying to eat as good as possible until she gives me the breakdown of everything I'm supposed to be eating. Um, but with that being said, I'm trying to cut back on breads and sugars because I eat a lot of bread. Like bread is my survival food. Bread is my like guilty pleasure. It's what I eat when I'm sad, when I'm happy, when I'm lonely, when I'm depressed, when I'm excited, anything. I eat bread nonstop and everything I eat has wheat in it and I never realized that. And my doctor's telling me that wheat is actually not good for my body. I'm trying to eat healthier, but if you see a lot of stuff that has wheat in it in this video, don't judge me. So I'm working on it because I have some cinnamon rolls here. Now these are like healthy cinnamon rolls. There's no like, oh yes it is, just kidding. Okay, well, we're not gonna pay attention to that. We're also not gonna pay attention to these cookies, but I feel like they're organic, so it's better for you. These are the Annie's brand oatmeal raisin. Oatmeal raisin cookies don't have wheat. Oh yeah, they do have wheat flour, just kidding. Okay, well, it's not as bad as chocolate chips. Let me have my sweet, okay, I need my sweet. I also got some Honey Nut Cheerios, these are for Cameron. He goes through cereal boxes like he does anything. Um, these are the El Milagro chips. These are for guac. I wanted some brioche because my friend Gabby, if you guys don't follow Gabby on Snapchat, she's always making food and she's always making French toast on Fridays. So I'm gonna start making French toast on Fridays because she makes French toast on Fridays. And she uses brioche. So I got some authentic brioche bread um, and I'm pretty sure like it's really healthy because it's like house made at the store. So it's not like full of preservatives and stuff. So if I'm gonna eat bread, I'm gonna eat the healthy bread, okay? At least I'm doing that much. Give me that. We'll get to the healthy stuff now. Um, so if you guys have not been following me forever or you haven't been following me recently, you don't know about my obsession with Foco water. I don't usually have long hair guys, so if I'm always touching it, I'm sorry, but it, I'm just not used to having all of it. I love Foco water. It is coconut water. Um, it's like all natural, organic, no added sugar, no added preservatives, nothing like that, not from concentrate. You know, it just has a little bit of flavor in it. So I, get, I love the pineapple ones. I also got pomegranate and I also got pink guava. I usually order these from Amazon by the case because it's easier for me to just order them and get them sent to my house. Sometimes Mariano's carries a lot of them and so I just go ahead and, and stock up at the store. But if I don't feel like going to the store and I need water right away, it usually ships overnight. Um, so I will order it from Amazon. So I'll link down below where you can get it from Amazon um, because that's where I usually get mine. Uh, I got nine of them I think. So that should last me until next Week. This is not the only thing I drink. I drink these once a day as a substitute for like lemonade or something um, But I do actually drink alkaline water as well um, Because I need more than this you need more than 16 ounces of water a day Obviously I should be drinking two liters of water But a liter and a half is how much I can get in a day without peeing on myself But I love coconut water. It's very very hydrating. I don't get thirsty when I drink these waters I don't feel drowsy or dizzy throughout the day like I normally do if I just drink regular water all day. So um, I prefer these, I feel like my body absorbs it more. Just fabric softener and dryer sheets because you always need those, right? Also got Cameron's salad. So I basically just get him a big tub of salad. I make him a Caesar salad at the store and um, I bring it home and this is his salad. I portion it out into um, meal prep containers 
and I make him salads for the week. So he just takes them for lunch. Even if he doesn't have salmon with it, he eats them, so. Okay, now I'm gonna get two Trader Joe's. Cause this is the stuff that needs to go in the refrigerator, so. Um, I got two bags of sunflower seeds because I'm not gonna lie, I forget to eat. Like, I forget to eat throughout the day when I'm working, when I'm editing, when I'm doing stuff. So I need to be snacking on something while I'm editing. Um, so I, I snack on sunflower seeds. It's a pretty good source of um, protein and it's just, I love the saltiness. It just gives me something salty to snack on. Uh, you guys know how I feel about chicken tikka? My chicken tikka masala, I always have to have these. Pop in the oven, one and done, you know, I can get my um, lunch going. No hassle, no problem. I also love these Pane Arrabbiata packages. I think most packages eat it by itself. I season it really good and eat this and it's a great lunch portion of pasta. So even though I'm not supposed to be eating wheat. <laughs> I love Trader Joe's vegetable fried rice. Um, this is actually one of my favorite meals that they have. It's not really a meal, but you can make it into a meal. I add kimchi to it. I crack an egg and put it, I do like Benihana. Like I'll crack an egg in the skillet scramble my egg and then I'll put like kimchi in there and then I'll put the rice in there. Sometimes I add more bro more broccoli or more vegetable if I want to. Um, you can really spruce this up and make it really, really good. So um, yeah, I love the fried rice. It's a quick dinner option just in case Cam isn't gonna be home or he's gonna be home super late and I have to eat something by myself. The fried rice usually works. Got corn, cor corn tortillas and um, I love the Trader Joe's apple cinnamon instant oatmeal. Um, I know these aren't as good as regular oatmeal because regular oatmeal is usually more oats <laughs> and less powder. I put hemp seeds in it and it gets me through the day. Most stuff from Trader Joe's I usually get two of because I know that I will want it again. I got some ginger brew. You guys know I love ginger brew. And of course I got two. And my favorite chips, the hickory barbecue chips. I also really like the salt and vinegar ones as well. Um, but I eat a lot of salt when I eat my sunflower seeds, so I don't really do the salt and vinegar chips as much anymore. Um, so usually when I have a hankering for some barbecue, I, I'll eat these chips. Um, and this really doesn't count as a grocery haul because I actually ordered this, but I ordered two jars of these pickles. If you're from Texas, you know about these. These are the best pickles in the u entire universe. Like, if you love pickles, order best made pickles. Best made pickles are the best pickles in the world. So I ordered some from Target because it's cheaper to order them from Target. You can order from the actual company, but the shipping is a lot more than Target's shipping. So I just got them from Target. But these are my favorite pickles of all the time. I got the hamburger slices so I don't get sick eating pickles because I love pickles. Um, and before anybody says, oh my God, you're having cravings? What does that mean? No, I just love pickles. I grew up on pickles. I've been eating them since I was little and I love pickles, okay? Typically I, I get the big ones and soak them in Kool-Aid but we're just gonna be simple today. Yeah, that's it. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't have anything super fantastic to show you guys. Just wanted to do a really quick grocery haul just in case you're wondering what I've been eating and what I've been buying. It's not all of the things I usually buy. Um, and I do plan on going back to the store tomorrow to get some more stuff because I forgot my cilantro. But anyways, um, yeah, that's it. I will talk to you guys in my next video and I'll see you soon.